Alliance and from the Mises Crafter, Happy Thanksgiving. And that's the reason why I'm doing the video today. We've got some Black Friday sales, so I want to take advantage of that for you guys. Um, we're going to be talking about these two specifically, but also heat presses in general because I've had them all. So let's just turn these on right now just to get going. They're both on at 320 degrees, and you can kind of see how quickly they will turn on. All right, so let's talk about heat presses in general. I've had them all. I have them all, I should say. Um, if you craft enough like I do, <laughs> and maybe even a little bit less because I feel like I craft a lot, a wide range of projects, there is a reason for all heat presses. Um, the small handheld ones are for small projects, um, for maybe like when you're fixing something, they are so, so handy. I would have that on hand as well. Um, I have the heat presses that you actually pick up and hold and push down. Um, and those are good for different types of projects as well. Um, but I will say that it is nice to have the auto press and not the handheld because on the handheld, you are the one responsible for the pressure. The machine itself is not heavy enough. So you still, for some projects, you still need to lean down and push. You also need to, you're the one that is applying the pressure and the balance of the pressure. So it's not a big deal when you're doing a t-shirt because it's going to lay, the whole thing's going to lay flat, but it is going to be a difference when you have a coaster, for example, or something smaller where your heat press is not going to stay balanced and it's up to you to apply even pressure, even heat to the whole project. So that's where I'm going to kind of stop it. Um, what's nice about the auto pressure heat or the auto heat, the auto, the auto press <laughs> is that I did think it was a frivolous feature when I first got this one and I've had this one for well over a year. Um, but what's nice is even when I'm doing, you know, cause I don't, I don't, um, mass produce anything really. Um, you know, sometimes I'll do five to 10 t-shirts, but it's very rare. Um, but just the fact that I'll do one, two, or three items of anything, it's nice that I'm not stuck holding the thing for a minute. Um, you know, some things you're pressing only 10 seconds, that's not a big deal. But some things like sublimation, you're pressing for a minute, for two minutes. You want to be able to walk away and prep your next item. Um, so it's nice to not have to be stuck holding the heat press. Um, and also, you know, for two, when you're holding something for two minutes, it, it gets cumbersome to make sure that you're applying even heat and even pressure. Okay, so that's it there. Um, now I'm going to compare these two. These two are both uh, HTV rods. Um, this one is already, it heats up much faster. So this one is ready at 320. This one's still going. So that was really, really fast. Um, okay, size wise, they're both very similar in size. Uh, if you look at them from the front, they look they look about the same in um, width and length. But where the difference you can see is this one's higher. This one will accommodate thicker blanks. You can go almost up to two inches. It's about 1.75 inches. Um, so you can have a thicker blank. The other thing is this one's a little bit heavier. Both I was able to move myself. This one I was able to unbox walk it over, place it on this counter. It's about 43 pounds. I believe this one's about 38 pounds. So not that much uh, of a difference. The only difference is length wise, this one goes back just about maybe an inch, a little, about an inch or so. Um, so they will take up the same size, just not in height. Okay, both of these are super easy, super intuitive. I did not notice this little booklet. <laughs> Um, until this morning, I've already pressed something. So it's super easy to turn on, on both of them. But let's talk about this one first. So this one, the main difference between these two is that this one can accommodate a thicker blank, one. Um, two, it also has an adjustment for pressure, which is a really good thing because when you're talking about DTF, sublimation, puff HTV, you're going to want to be able to adjust the pressure. Uh, those are the ones that are more obvious to me, but I will talk about the project that I did yesterday and I have it right here. 
I did the personalized um, stocking tags, name tags. So on this ribbon, which is, it's so stinking cute, right? <laughs> on this ribbon, it's the wire ribbon. So the edges, um, you know, pop up a little bit more. So yesterday, I didn't, I will admit, I did not read it. I don't even know. it. When it turned on, it had 50 pound pressure. The range in pressure is 50 to 170 pounds. So for the a ribbon, I just went up to 90 pounds and pressed it and didn't even worry about it. So the wire, the uneven field, like blank, it didn't even matter. It pressed on super easy, super quick. So that's the great thing about the pressure, the difference between these two. Um, and the they're both 15 by 15 inch and they both pull out. But the difference in pulling out is this one pulls out a little bit more right here. I know you can't see from the camera angle, but one of the projects that I did on this one was a really thick, big hoodie. And it was difficult for me to deal with the hoodie because I'm gonna show you right now. Let me go over here and do this one. So when I put this down this way, I couldn't get this hoodie to go under. And I like to press things where I can see it more, it, like it just makes sense more visually so I can place down my project. I had to press this one because I couldn't, you know, when I go to do this, the hood gets stuck, right? So when I did my hoodie, I had to switch it this way. The sleeve, I was able to do this because I was able to angle it over here, and kind of straighten out my shirt or my, my hoodie. And then I was still more visually able to see it as opposed to upside down. And I just feel like upside down, I can't read it. I can't see it. Um, it just makes it difficult for me to line up. So, okay, so that's this one. Let me go over here. Now on this one, I am able to stick my hoodie down there's room right here. So I can stick it down, I can hold on to it, and I can push it back. So there is so much more. It's just about this much space more that it pulls out that it makes a huge difference. So I love that for, for this. Um, and then you also have some custom features over here, some custom um, temperatures that you can do for your project. So if I know I'm I do a ton of sublimation shirts. I can uh, preset it uh, so that I don't have to mess with the temperatures all the time. All right, so those are the two right here. Let me make sure that I talked about everything. They both, right now, they're so comparable in price. This one's just a little bit more. I would get this one. It heats up faster. It has, the pullout goes out further and it can do a little bit more because it's, you know, can handle thicker blanks. So I feel like this one is the obvious choice when it's just maybe yeah, just slightly more. All right, but these two in general, um, they're both 15 by 15. They both have the auto shut off, which I think is important. It shuts off in about 15 minutes. I know there's a lot of 15. It's 15 by 15, shuts off in 15 minutes. I can't tell you how many times I've left this on overnight. So it is nice to know that they will shut off. Um, they are both pull-out drawers, both auto press. Um, the thing I like about this, because I've had the ones where, I've had the clamshell and the one that like pulls out. I've never burned myself, but it worries me so much. I like that this is more difficult to burn yourself um, because it's hidden right here. You're pulling out this, the drawer. I just, I feel better about it. Okay. Um, all right. So I think that's all that I have. I do have a discount code. It's 14% off for Amazon. Um, you can get this in white or blue right now. If you have your heart set on purple, it will not ship until December 13th. I don't know if it will get to you in time to finish all your Christmas projects. Um, I, I've seen some of my friends have the purple one. Um, but you know, I, I love both these colors and white will go with anything.
think. So <laughs> that's up to you. I just love the machine, so it doesn't matter. Um, all right, let's talk about, let's just talk again about the pressure. So the pressure can go from 50 pounds to 170 pounds. Oh, so let's go over these features because it's super, um, super easy, super intuitive. You have your power button. If you want to change the temperature, you go to the thermometer, you hit it, and then you press, you know, 340 degrees. I hit the temperature button. It's set. It's ready to go. The time is the little clock. Again, super easy, up and down here, and then you set it. And then you hit the, once this is in, you hit the little uh, symbol, and it clamps down. If you don't want to wait the 14 seconds for this to open up, you can just hit this again. It will release it. And once it's fully released, you can pull this out. Super easy to use. Same thing with over here. So this tilts. So I, you know, I automatically closed it up yesterday a little bit. I'm like, oh, that's still kind of hard to read. I'm like, oh, it's so nice. <laughs> just the little things, right? You have your temperature. Your pressure, it's at 90 pounds because I did switch it yesterday to handle the wired ribbon. And then the, the timing. It also has custom preset um, features on here. So you can set that up. I will admit I have not done that yet. Um, but um, the manuals here, I've done everything else and it's super easy to use. So that's where I'm going to end this. I think I've hit everything. Um, I, this one I loved for a long time and I, every time I use it, every time a friend asks me, I always suggest the auto press because it's just so nice. Um, you know, you're going to have, it's even temperature, even pressure. Um, and it's just, it frees you up. So, all right, I'm going to leave you with that. I'm going to make sure that the discount code is um, in the description. Happy Thanksgiving and enjoy.